On this episode of Winning with Wes, we're going to focus on going from defense to offense, specifically working on the reset shot. This is a shot that you're going to hit out of the air in the mid-court with the hope of landing the ball in the kitchen, gaining you the opportunity to come into the net. One of the most difficult shots to hit in pickleball is the reset volley. What a reset volley does is it helps you go from defense to offense. The whole point of the shot is to hit the ball short into the kitchen and allow yourself time to get in and play out the point. So the first drill we're going to work on with the reset, I'm going to stay in a stationary position right in the middle of no man's land, right in the middle of transition zone here. Okay? My partner, Daryl, is going to feed me balls. The goal of my reset is to hit the ball obviously over the net, but you're going to notice I have a cone zone that's set up. The goal is for me to hit the ball in between the cones and the net. So I know that this is, looks like a really ambitious target, and it is, but if you can master this shot, I feel like you move one skill level up in pickleball. So if you're a 3-5 and you master the reset, you're going to go up to a 4-0. If you're a 4-0 and you master it, you're going to be a 4-5 because your ball control improves. So in this drill, again, I'm going to try to reset the ball between the cones and the net. My partner, Daryl, is going to feed me consistent shots. There we go. Okay. So once you've spent some time getting comfortable with your reset, you're hitting it into the target area, you're going to work on moving up and back in the transition zone. As you know in pickleball, sometimes that first reset may not be an optimal reset to go all the way into the kitchen behind. So we're going to work on hitting a ball, taking a step in. Hitting a reset, taking a step in. Once you get into the kitchen line, and you hit that reset, your hands have to be super, super soft and relaxed as you get closer to the kitchen line. Once you hit this ball, you're gonna take a step back and hit a reset. Take a step back and reset. Because as you know, sometimes when you're playing pickleball, there may be a lob that goes up and it's too short, and you may have to back up and get into position where you need to hit a reset before coming back in. So this drill is gonna help you move up and back in the transition area. So when you're done working on your resets up and back in the transition zone, we're going to put this skill that you've practiced into a competitive setting. So Daryl and I are going to play a game now. I'm going to start here where I would hit my first reset. I cannot come into the kitchen line until my reset goes in between the cones and the net. So I have to hit into that small target. What I'm also looking for when I compete is to see where my opponent is reaching. Right, if I'm playing a match and I hit a reset and my opponent is leaning to hit a ball up, that gives me the invitation or the green light to get into the net. So when I play this game, I'm going to play to four points. Right? And again, I cannot come in until that ball lands in the area. Here you go, go for it. So again, I'm resetting, I'm waiting for that ball to come in, and then anything goes, we play it out. Try it again. Okay, it's too high, I stay back. That one works. <laughs> 
What you want to always remember is it may take one or more reset shots to get yourself all the way into the kitchen. So be patient with this. Again, you're looking for your opponent to reach or you're looking for that ball to land inside of that zone to give you the green light and come in and go from defense to offense.